All right, Steve, you have been tracking the weather all day, and you said that there was a county that just issued a severe storm watch, right? Yeah, so we have a severe thunderstorm watch for the entire area, Kelsey, until 10 o'clock. And then for Howard County, we have a warning till 715. So it really depends on where you live, what you're getting right now. A lot of you getting nothing, and some of you getting hit really hard by some strong to severe storms. So let's walk you through the big picture, and then we'll get you into this warning. So the Big picture is these storms are only around through about 10 o'clock, but between now and then we could have some damaging winds, pockets of flash flooding, so we want you to be weather aware. Another round of storms tomorrow. I think fewer of you get these storms tomorrow and the intensity of them is not what they are today. So that's certainly some good news. And then a fall feel arrives. You got to be ready for this one on Tuesday. We have not seen temperatures this cool in months, so a nice refreshing change. So this severe thunderstorm warning now in effect for Howard County until 715, also parts of Montgomery County. A storm, the most intense part, is in Montgomery County, about to cross over into Howard County. It's moving to the north and east at about 15 miles per hour. So places in the path of this storm with potentially 60 mile per hour winds, maybe some small hailstones, would be Glenwood 706, Mullinix at 708, West Friendship 714, Mount View at 718, and Newport at 724. Again, this kind of moving off to the north and east, it will cross over Interstate 70. But as you can see with the loop here, we didn't really have much happening here about two hours ago. And look how this is all filled in here. So more severe weather is possible here with some of these storms. Strong storm now here on the western side of the Beltway. Wouldn't be surprised if this becomes severe. And then some more strong storms up through Carroll County and north central Baltimore County. But the trend is that these storms are moving into a warm and sticky environment that is fuel for these storms. So heavy downpours and lightning at the very least. And some of the stronger storms may potentially produce damaging winds. If we get any more warnings, of course, we'll be with you here on CBS News Baltimore uh, with those updates. But a severe thunderstorm watch for our viewing area through 10 o'clock this evening evening. Large hail possible, but the main threat would be damaging winds and also the potential of some very heavy downpours, which may lead to some flash flooding. So we're in a level two out of five, so it's about a moderate category. Not all of you will get severe weather here tonight, but a lot of you will get those heavy downpours. And with that, a lot of areas that have had a lot of rain recently, you could see some flash flooding here. So just be very careful tonight, especially after sunset, that flash flood watch in effect until 10 o'clock. 85 in town, you can see some of the thunderstorms in the distant uh, picture there. Temperature feels like 92 right now in the Inner Harbor, 92 at BWI Thurgood Marshall, 82 in Parkton. Here's our future radar. Notice how the storms kind of gel into this line and right around 8, 830, right around the Beltway into the eastern side toward Essex and Dundalk. And then we'll see those storms clear out of the area after about 10 o'clock tonight. 69 degrees your overnight lows, 84 tomorrow. We're in your neighborhood on your corner tomorrow and we'll take you to Carroll County, 82 in Avondale, 82 Union Mills, 81 in Eldersburg tomorrow. We're on your corner in Anne Arundel County, 83 in Pasadena, 82 in Lothian, maybe an afternoon thunderstorm here. You can see the morning hours, sunshine to start with, and then isolated storms peppering the sky. But after that, that's when we watch the humidity plunge here by Tuesday. It's some really refreshing stuff coming our way. So 84 on Monday, we have a possible thunderstorm in the afternoon for a few of you. 76 on Tuesday, then this is a dry forecast and a cool forecast. Mid 50s here in the morning, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we're back to the 80s by Thursday and Friday. And True August weather here by Saturday and Sunday with highs near 90. We'll be right back.